For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis. You have to be curious to uh, what they raided his house about. You know, Keefe D was doing a lot of speaking. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome back to my channel. For 27 long years, Tupac Shaka's family has awaited justice. Today, we gather to announce a significant development in this case. The arrest of Dwayne Keith Davis, a 60-year-old individual. Many may wonder what led to the raid on his house. Keith D. had been quite vocal, and you know the saying about how lies can persist, but the truth eventually emerges. Well, today might be that long-awaited day. Fresh reports suggest that Tupac's killer may have been apprehended, and it appears that this investigation might be closing in on Diddy as well. It's a situation that could potentially impact many in the music industry. The murder of the iconic rapper Tupac Shaka has remained an unsolved mystery for over two decades, haunting both the music industry and his fans. Recent developments, however, hint at a possible breakthrough. Las Vegas detectives have arrested Dwayne Keith De Davis, a 60-year-old gang leader, stirring shockwaves throughout the industry and offering hope to those seeking justice for Tupac's murder. Tupac's stepbrother, Mo Premishaka, expressed mixed emotions about the arrest, calling it bittersweet. It appears they were aware of Keith D's involvement for years raising questions about why it took authorities so long to apprehend him. Homicide Lieutenant Jason Johansson stated unequivocally that Davis was the leader and shot caller in the case. Surprisingly, many facts about the case were already in law enforcement's hands during the early stages of the investigation. Still, it took Keith D's public admissions in 2018 to shift the course of the case. Sheriff Kevin McMahon assured the public that they were actively building a successful prosecution. Nevada's grand jury indicted Davis for the murder after months of deliberation, a surprising turn of events that occurred while he was casually strolling near his home. What sets Keith D. apart is his astonishing willingness to publicly reveal his involvement. He openly admitted to being at the scene of the drive-by, shooting that took Tupac's life in 1996, and confessed to passing the murder weapon to another gang member. In a shocking 2019 memoir titled Compton Street Legend, Keith D. spilled the beans on his involvement, claiming he had informed authorities about his role in 2010 during a super-secret meeting with law enforcement. However, he alleged that authorities had promised him immunity in exchange for cooperation, raising eyebrows about the case handling. In a riveting 2018 documentary, Keith dropped a bombshell stating that he was riding shotgun with his nephew Orlando Baby Lane Anderson on the night of the murder. He went further, confessing to handing Anderson the murder weapon moments before the fatal shots were fired. Tupac Shakur was only 25 when he was struck down by four bullets in Las Vegas on September 7, 1996. His untimely death shocked the world, and now Keith D's audacity to openly discuss his role in the crime is causing seismic waves in the music industry. In a move reminiscent of a Hollywood thriller, Las Vegas police raided Keith D's wife, Paula Clemens' residence in July as part of the ongoing investigation into Tupac's murder. They recovered a stash of 40 caliber bullets from the property, crucial pieces of evidence that could be linked to Tupac's tragic death. This operation underscores the intensity of law enforcement's pursuit in this case. The most crucial aspect of this story is the potential connection between Sawn, Diddy Combs and Tupac Shah's murder. Recent twists in the story are dragging Diddy back into the spotlight. Many have woven a web connecting Tupac's murder to Diddy in one way or another. Detective Greg Cading, a former member of the Los Angeles Police Department, sheds light on the complexity of Diddy's alleged involvement. Cading suggests that Diddy's motive may have been to shield himself from Suge Knight's vengeance for the 1995 death of a friend in Atlanta, for which he held Diddy responsible. After Tupac's death, Suge Knight allegedly hired his own hitman, a Bloods member named Wardle Puxy Faust, to kill Christopher Wallace, known as Biggie Smalls, in retaliation. 
This retaliatory move sent shockwaves through the hip-hop world. What's striking is how did he seem to have inside information about Suji Knight's vengeful intentions? One enduring enigma in Tupac's murder is the whereabouts of the murder weapon, while bullets and casings were recovered from the crime scene, the Glock used in the shooting has remained elusive. In 1998, a 40 caliber gun was discovered in a Compton residence, sparking speculation that it could be the murder weapon. However, ballistic tests ruled it out as a match. <laughs>